Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a demonstration and a bit of a chat about this lovely little flaker called the Flake Lovers Flaker from Grain Lovers, which is the company that used to be called Mock Mill. I think the company has rebranded itself now as Grain Lovers and the Mock Mills are still called Mock Mills. And this is my Mock Mill 200 here. And this is their Flake Lovers Flaker. I actually filmed this video a number of months ago so I'll just let that video run and then I'll come back at the end and I'll give you a bit of a wrap up about what I think of it sort of six months down the track and where I've landed with this and where it's available and that sort of stuff. Hi everyone I just wanted to share with you my first try out of the Mock Mill Flake Lovers electric flaker Flake Lovers by Wolfgang Mock. This is a beautiful little machine. I have seen them in action, but I have never used this one. This is the first go. This did come very beautifully packaged in a box, but when I first got it, I intended on using it straight away and then things got busy and I didn't quite get to it and it's been in the cupboard. So I have already unboxed it, um, but this is what it looks like as soon as it comes out of the box. There's no assembly required at all, just other than plugging it in. There's a little lid here where the grain goes in the top and there it does come with instructions which, which I have read and there is a little lever underneath if I can remember which way it goes whoops that you can gently that little lever that you can gently pull forward it takes this um, top I don't know what to call that <laughs> this top cover off and you can get a toothbrush or you know just a, a dry brush and brush it out if you want to after a while but there's no other maintenance required on these flakers and you just pop that back on and then you're done I will turn this on at the wall and there is an off and on switch on the back so when we turn that on presumably everything's going to work now these are really simple to use. Let's give this a go. I want to see how loud it is. That's always my first thing because I do find the mock mills a little bit loud and I've got really sensitive hearing. So I, I actually put earmuffs on when I mill my grain just because some of the grain isn't so loud, but some really hard wheats and things can really be quite loud in the mock mill. But I don't think this is as loud. So I'm not wearing any hearing protection or anything. We'll turn it on. Ah, that's not unpleasant. Here we go. Oh, wow. I just loaded half a cup in the top there. Fantastic. That's it. That's it. I didn't time that. And this is not really a review. It's just a tryout and just to show people what this machine is like. Um, that did a great job. Those oats are about as uh, flatly rolled as they are when I use my hand roller, my Eschenfelder hand oat flaker, which um, is, is a nice little machine too, but obviously you've got to put the work in and <laughs> attach it to the bench and all the rest. This is definitely convenient. I might need a cold plug with a, a right angle, a right angle on the back so that it sort of fits closer to the bench. I don't have the biggest kitchen. Anyway, that is a great little gadget. These oats, by the way, if you're in Australia and you're looking for really good quality whole oats, to roll you can buy these are biodynamically organically grown certified whole oat groats that are grown by burrow biodynamics in victoria 
I buy these through Sovereign Foods here in Queensland in Maruka. Um, they are a wonderful supplier of sustainably, ethically grown produce. We're very lucky to have that, that resource here in Brisbane. So it probably is about six months since I filmed that video and I have to say that I don't have any issues with this flaker. Um, I have to be really honest with you and say I haven't used it a lot um, and there are a couple of reasons for that. Um, but overall, I think it's a fantastic um, product. It's We did use it um, fairly intensively for the first month or two and then no fault of the flaker, it's a great machine, but just for the sake of convenience, you know, just trying to save time, being in a really busy period of our lives, we went back to buying whole row dot rolled oats. These are actually quick oats um, grown by Burren Biodynamics. So I've gone back to that. <laughs> I think if you are a person who loves flaked grains and you like really specialty whole grain porridges and you really want to explore and play around and have fun and you've got bench space for another gadget this would be ideal you know you will have a lot of fun with this you can flake a whole lot of different grains in here not just oats um, but we were just using it for oats I tend to keep my cooking and my breakfast porridge and as many things as I can to be honest really simple in life and um, I do love kitchen gadgets do not get me wrong and I have quite a collection of them but in terms of my diet I do keep it fairly simple I use a lot of different grains in my baking um, and I've got a whole lot of grains you've probably seen those in my videos and I mill a lot of different types of whole grains into flours in my mock mill and I eat them that way in my bread making um, and I cook whole grains to eat them cooked, you know, for millet and brown rice and all sorts of things that I cook with. Um, but flaking for me, I guess, just really wasn't the top priority. So um, this flaker was gifted to me by Mock Mill. And I'm really appreciative of um, this gift. But because this has really sat unused for a few months, I'm going to pass the gift on to my good friend Liesl from Goodness Flower in Harcourt in Victoria. Liesl is a small scale um, micro mill little company essentially and she's milling specialty flowers, all kinds of things, gluten free flowers. She makes absolutely amazing cakes. She's an incredible baker in her own right and but really focuses a lot more on the cakes side of things and really specializes in gluten-free and all whole grains. I'm going to gift this flaker to Lisa because she's really, really keen to try it and she's got much more of a use for an electric flaker in her business. So she'll be able to do some specialty little flakes to put in her premixes and all of the amazing products that she sells. And I'm just going to keep on using my rolled oats that I get from Sovereign Foods and that's just the easiest way for us. We were honestly really only using this for oats and I, I just, it's just one more thing I don't really, really need to do. The other reason why I'm really happy to hand this over to Goodness Flower is that I have a flaker, another flaker that I already had before. Um, this is an Eschenfelder hand manual flaker. This is a German made little machine. Obviously it's a manual thing. You Put the, you clamp it to your bench top using this uh, clamp that goes in the hole there. You put your grains in the hopper in the top and you crank the wheel and it turns the rollers inside and your grain comes out and puts them into a bowl. So if I need to flake anything for a specialty recipe that I'm making or a specialty bread or a specialty porridge or whatever it is that needs flaked grains, I can still flake my grains. So I've still got that one, which is a beautiful little machine. I should add too that these flakers are not currently available for sale in Australia. You can buy them where you can buy mock mills in the USA and in Europe, absolutely available. And my mock mill links where you can purchase your mock mill, you can also buy one of these from there. And they're quite affordable for what they are. If specialty flaked grains were something I was really into, I would definitely get one of these. They are a brilliant machine and they do make it a lot easier. You don't have to <laughs> crank the, the handle. You just put the bowl there, you know, put your, your grains in the top and out they come perfect. And it's wonderful. 
Uh, the main distributor for mock mills and grain lovers uh, equipment in Australia is Van Roy Machinery in Melbourne. And I've been talking with Benji from Van Roy and they have decided just to hold off and see if anybody shows any interest here about these. And if they do, you know, maybe if you're watching this video, put a comment in the comment section and I can feed your information or your interest back to Van Roy and they might consider stocking some for the Australian market. Um, but I was really lucky to get this. There wouldn't be too many of these machines in Australia. So we're gonna take good care of this one. We're gonna give it a really good home down with uh, Goodness Flower and Harcourt and uh, they can have a lot of fun with it. And I will just keep going with my manual flaker and um, we'll see if anything sort of develops in the Australian market for selling these. That's it for now. See you again next time. Bye.